and that I've accomplished these past three years would not have been possible. First, I'd like to thank Mr. J for taking a chance on me all the way back in freshman year and ever since pushing me to do my best. I never would have become the player I am today without all the help from him. Next, I'd like to thank Coach Neff. Coach Neff always believed in me. Before my freshman year, I never really thought, took basketball that seriously or thought I was good enough, and she had confidence in me and helped me find confidence in myself. She was always honest with me and helped me so much with my game. Next, I'd like to thank Mrs. Hancock, my girl's face. <laughs> she was so easy to talk to and helped me with any problems I had. When I was down or having a bad practice, she always helped me remember the reasons that I played basketball, because it was fun. She always had the best advice, both about basketball and about life. Next, I'd like to thank Jim. It was always so great walking into the, the gym to see his smile and having him there reading a song. I'd also like to thank Miss Campbell for keeping the score in the book. And every day it was so nice walking into English class and talking about basketball with you. I'd like to thank the super fans for coming to every game and supporting us through everything. And also the athletic directors and the trainers for all you do. Next, I'd like to thank my family. I don't know what I'd do without any of them. My dad was my first ever basketball coach, and if it weren't for him, I wouldn't even know how to shoot a ball. My dad has taught me so much about basketball, <laughs> and more importantly, about how to enjoy and appreciate every game. Even though I've made it back through my time playing basketball for West, I know I'll never outgrow playing backyard games with my dad. My mom may not have taught me any basketball skills. <laughs> 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 she wouldn't have a and always help me. She's one of my greatest role models, and I try to be like her, both as an athlete and a person. She always believed in me, even when I didn't believe in myself. Both my parents are, have always given me endless support and always believed in me. They showed me that I can do anything I set my mind to. I wouldn't have made it through this season without them. Of course, I'd like to thank both my siblings, Emily and Jerry, even though they couldn't be here today. They both have always supported me and made me such a better player by practicing with me and playing against me. Next, I'd like to thank my little brother, Kyle. He's my number one fan. He never missed a game this entire season, and I don't think he's even missed a game the past four years. He was always so proud of me, and I can't explain what a great feeling it is to know that there's someone that looks up to you that much and is always that proud of you. Every game I played, I played partially for him. Even though I'm the older sibling, I look up to him so much. He's always so positive and fun, and I hope he knows that I'm his number one fan too. I can't wait to cheer him on just as much as he's always cheered me on. Next, I'd like to thank my grandma and papa who came to every single game. Before every game, I'd always look up in the stands and see them standing there, and that would be just what I needed. It was always so great to know that no matter what happened in every game, my family was always there for me and always so proud. This season, our team was closer than ever. We all had to stick together in order to come back after suffering losses the first half of the season. Even if we lost the game, we all knew that we still had each other. Throughout the years playing West Basketball, I became such great friends and had such great times with all of you. Some of my best memories from high school have been from West Basketball and having fun times with all of you girls, especially all the memories from the Disney trips with you. I'd especially like to thank my other seniors, Maggie and Katie. The three of us have been playing basketball with each other since third grade, and I wouldn't have, want to have anyone else but these girls up here with me right now. They're two of the greatest girls I know, and they're so hardworking and always give it their all. It's been so great being teammates and friends with both of you. Next, I'd like to thank Holly for always being there for me. <laughs> I don't think I would have made it through this season without her. Over the years, I've had my doubts of whether I should keep playing or if I was good enough, and Holly was always there for me to cheer me up. I'll never forget one night at team camp when I was really upset, and Holly just came and sat with me in the hallway at like midnight, and we just talked for hours. You always lightened the mood at tough practices and kept everyone laughing. I'm so fortunate to have gotten the chance to meet you through basketball, and you've become one of my best friends. I'd also like to thank Carrie for being my partner in everything in basketball, and also being one of my best friends. Ever since your freshman year, when we sat at the end of the bench and learned every cheer that the cheerleaders did, we used to request for them which cheer we wanted them to do next. We've had the best times being team camp roommates, doing butt bumps during the national anthem, and running nine, but I don't know if you'd consider that the best time. <laughs> um, also, I'd like to thank Maddie for being a great fellow captain and leader of this team for the past two years. You were always there for me for someone to talk to, and I don't think I would have made it through this season without you. I'm going to miss all of my teammates so much. Without basketball, I may have never met any of you, but I'm so glad I did because you guys have become some of the best friends that I have. I'm so lucky I've gotten to know each and every one of you. You're like a second family to me, and I was so great spending every day during the season with all of you. I want you all to remember to never take anything for granted. It goes by so fast, and before you know it, your senior year is here. I'd do anything to go back to another practice and even run time. 
Make sure you give 100% in every game, every practice, and every drill, because you never know which one will be your last, and when it is, you're going to wish you could go back. These past four years have taught me a lot about basketball, but even more about life. I learned that things aren't always going to go your way, and that nothing's going to be easy. When you want something, you have to earn it. I'll be honest, there were times this season that I wanted to quit, but quitting would have been easy. Instead, I decided to stick with it, and even though at times it may have been frustrating, I couldn't be more glad that I did. I learned that you should never give up, because when you stick with something and work as hard as you can, it will always be worth it. No matter what happened this season, I'm glad that I stuck with it, because every day I got to play a sport that I loved with some of my best friends. Even though you should always give it your all, make sure that you remember basketball is meant to be fun, so never forget to enjoy every second you play. I'm going to miss West basketball so much, not only the game, but the amazing coaches, friends, and memories I made along the way. I can't wait to come back and watch you guys play. Enjoy every second of it, because like I said before, you'll be up here soon, and that's what you need to be sure.